Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Langrisser. This is part three. We're continuing scenario two and we're trying to get Leedon promoted to his next class. We had an ambush or at least an attempted ambush. It's going to backfire in their face I'm pretty sure. So let's move forward. Now depending on how things go I'm going to engage the mountain group first but I might want to deal with them first and let them catch up. It all depends on how quickly they move. Okay. Also, you want to pay very attention to your troops. Make sure you keep all of your mercenaries next to their commander. It's not so hard when they have different units, but if they both had soldiers, for example, it'd be a little trickier. Just got to pay a little bit closer attention, that's all. Not too demanding overall. We're going to keep one on this side, one on... Actually, yeah, this is a good time to make that wall I was talking about. You see the silver or gray mountains? Those are the very high mountain peaks. Nobody can traverse that except for flyers, which we don't see yet. So what I'm going to try to do is build a wall here using Volkov's men mostly. Provided they don't move past it, they'll be completely safe. But that's dependent entirely on them and what they decide to do. So again, can't make any promises there can't get everybody in position yet but we're gonna get started at least hey I'll leave you there for right now obviously get all the Leedens people close to him yeah we'll try to deal with the mountain group first I think and in a phase I mean this group's probably gonna move forward a little bit yep So she still has four left. It's not ideal, but it's a decent sized group. She's got a squad. So I'll try to keep the rest of them alive, but you know, if they decide to just jump head first into the nearest pack of wild wolves, I mean, there's only so much I can do. You know, I've told them death hurts a million times. They just, they're not buying it. So gotta learn the hard way. Some do. Not you, hopefully. And... Do I still want to deal with them first? Because if I ignore them, they're probably going to be able to attack them. And that would be bad. So... But see, they're going to get a defense bonus just like we would. I'd rather them not have that. You know what, I'm just going to be a little bit more patient gonna try to lure them out of the mountains also this gives me a chance to see what Mina's group is gonna end up doing also want to get away from the trees so whenever they fight us they're not gonna be getting a huge defense bonus that's my goal yeah we're actually gonna move him back after all okay here are the mountains so, for right now at least, this is where we want to put them. Make sure we stay within that blue radius at all times. And we're just going to put you in front. Actually, that's not necessary. But I'll do it anyway. Put you there. Into phase. So this isn't the most difficult game in the world, but again, if you're not using the right tactics, it can all go south really, really quick. So do have to kind of, sort of, pay attention to what's happening, which I appreciate. That's why I get into this type of game so much. It's just more interesting because it's more engaging. You really have to be thinking on a variety of levels at all times. You can't just be looking at your immediate peripheral. You got to consider what's going on off screen you know you have to consider the potentiality of what could happen you know again a surprise attack it's always a possibility at least if you've played enough to know what's going to happen and even then you still have to plan for what's going to come so I'm going to inch a little bit closer but not really same with these guys just keep everybody close and I think his group's going to stay there for the duration 
they're gonna be attacking them soon I think but that's fine let's get our people in better position gonna put him there if I put Volkov here that should still reach everybody for that bonus yep and that goes pretty far and this is the extent of it so this is the back end here want to keep a few people there just in the off chance one behind and let's see what Mina's group does again okay they've been a little bit more conservative in their movements that's good I like where they're going with this keep it up please for your sake as much as anyone else's actually entirely for your sake because again we could just let them die and there'd be no punishment of any kind but we're not that we're not really mm -mm, no it's not up for debate life is for everyone this is my motto this is what I live by never mind the people that we're killing they started it first <laughs> uh, wait again okay so the guys to the west they're not in a hurry to engage us see he's gonna do that but it's not gonna do anything one point big whoop yeah because they know what they're in for they're not stupid they may not be smart but they're surely not stupid yeah see they're not doing anything blowing kisses is what it is that's all they're doing unfortunately we're already spoken for so we're not interested okay that's what I think of that what you gonna do Mina uh oh no anything <laughs> any oh man okay they're still in the mountains they might not be able to reach they probably can though but that's fine we're in range so next turn it's over wow that was a lot of hits guys take it easy on them you know they can't take it you know they're just posturing they're all talk they can't take you no need to unleash have a little mercy I know this is war and everything but well at this stage of the game it's not really war yet I mean we are gonna be engaged in a war very soon because you know that whole incident where they sort of attacked our castle and slaughtered everyone that they could stole our treasures and whatnot but eh, these bandits I mean they're just they're just here starting trouble raising a ruckus so it's really not on that level yet bye guys I tried you're really not helping though again Mina is not a citizen she actually has stats so in the event they actually reached her which they probably won't she can survive it's just her group you have to worry about what can you do oh I was kinda hoping that would be one hit Oh, but they're getting a boost from the mountains too. I missed that. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. But we have backup. Good for what else you. He'll probably survive, but oh no, good, good. I thought it'd be one left. Yeah, we gotta start getting involved, I think. It's the only way. And what's going on over here? Really nothing. Go ahead and give you some treatment just to be safe. And see, another fun thing that you can do is have the enemy generals use up their magic. When they run out of MP, there's no way they can regain it in this one. In the sequel, that's been changed, so this tactic isn't as effective there. But yeah, they run out of magic, I mean. That takes the bite out of a lot of their bark. Especially later on. Oh, 
Oh, I knew he was going to do that. See, that's another reason why I like to keep somebody in front of him because he doesn't know how to hold back. So good. And every time somebody goes, I think, oh, that was experience that Leiden could have had. Oh, well. Can't get them all. See, his arches, they're a little bit more restrained, so I like that. Because it's still going to take us a few turns before we can deal with them. Thanks to, again, the citizens. Why are citizens so frustrating? Why can't they why can't they just think clearly? <laughs> Gotta make things so difficult. Interesting that they call them citizens as well too. It just just sounds really formal. Oh man. Oh, two? Two made it out? I've never seen that many live. That must be because of the mountains. At the most, I've seen one. That's very good. And we got one troop out of that group left. That's wonderful. Can heal him back up if I... Nope. No, I can't. But you will lose men. It's inevitable. It's okay. As long as you don't lose him. Yeah, you want to keep him around. See, another nice thing about the sequel to this... Which is also for Sega Mega Drive, or yeah, it didn't release on the Genesis, so I can't say that technically. But where do I want to put him? I'm actually gonna hold off on him. Yeah. But in the sequel, your generals, even if they lose in battle, you'll have them in the next scenario, so they don't die for good. In this game, if you lose one of your main generals, they're gone for good. Except for him, you lose him you lose the game so that's even worse gonna try to avoid both of those outcomes though yeah we'll do that I was looking for a way to take all of them out in this turn but I don't think that's gonna happen can get most of them though oh come on guys you had the advantage Okay, this is going to be a drag out. And unfortunately, I really can't have him get involved because he's protecting the rear here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put you guys... Actually, no, you stay there. And... I'm going to move you up. Okay. Oh, I forgot to attack with Leiden. He could have attacked. Oh, that's the first time I've seen that they actually retreated. Thank you. I guess even she says enough. Enough's enough at this point. Sad that she had to lose three or four people for it to come to that. Yes, good, 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 good. And see, the thing about the enemy, when they get that weak, they probably won't attack, so... By the time we finally do engage that group, yeah, it won't even be a fight. Note to all those folks watching at home who don't do this, don't let the people who do this professionally fool you. This is not easy. Talking and playing at the same time is really not that easy, especially for a game like this. You know, it takes a lot of practice and repetition like anything else. And again, I'm just... I'm a neophyte. I do this strictly for fun, not looking to get professional, but for those who do this, putting out stuff regularly every day, every week, you know, hundreds of thousands and millions of people watching, you know, I salute you. I give you respect because you make it look so easy. And sometimes people get upset when they see somebody not playing perfectly, you know, and like, you didn't do this, you didn't save them, you didn't get that, you know, you gotta understand, man. You gotta understand, if you're trying to be at all authentic about it and not just trying to cheat, you save states, edit out things, anything of that nature, it's really not that easy. And I don't want to, but we're gonna have to be a little more defensively minded, I think. 
I will try to take him out, though. Thank you. Level 7. Three to go. Because you got to take a few chances. Get rid of him. And... Nope, he's not in range. It's not going to help us out. In the phase. 